This is a classical example of a problem using Newton's laws. There is a box sitting on a surface and there is a push applied from the top left down on the box. What we are interested in is finding the reaction forces, namely the normal force and the frictional force. We are going to start by drawing the free body diagram or the isolation diagram. To do so, I'm cutting my box out of my drawing here and whenever I cut through something, I replace that with a force in the free body diagram. So here I have my push. Down here, I was cutting through a surface so whenever I cut through a surface, I'm going to end up with a normal force from the surface away towards the center of the object. So I have a normal force going upwards. And I also get a friction that is in the plane of the surface. Now the question is which way does it go? Friction usually uh, tries to avoid any slipping. So in this case, in order to keep the box in place, the friction has to be to the left. I'm pushing it to the left. And whenever we are uh, talking about problems on the surface of the planet, uh, we also have our weight or the force due to gravity. So this is my free body diagram of this object. Next I should specify what coordinate system I'm using on to solve the problem. Uh, I'm going to go here with the classical x to the right and y up coordinate system. Now before I start solving this problem I'm going to write down any additional equation that I might know. For example I know that my fg is equal to mass times gravity and I know that my friction, if it's static friction, is always smaller than my coefficient of friction times my normal force in case I need it. Now I'm going to split up my problem in two directions. I have a x direction and I have a y direction. In x direction, uh, as the thing is not moving, I have Newton's uh, first law applying. Sum of all forces in x is zero. And the same in this case is happening in the y direction. Sum of all forces in y is zero. And now I'm going to look what directions are my forces in. If I start with uh, here my normal force, my normal force uh, is in the y direction. So I put it on uh, the y list. Normal force is in the y direction. Then my friction is in the x direction. So friction goes here. My gravity goes in the y direction and finally my push has both x and y components. So the push x component goes in the x direction and the push y component in the y direction. Now I'm going to think about the directions. Let's start with the x. Uh, is my uh, frictional force in the plus or negative direction? It goes against my x-axis, so I'm going to put it as minus magnitude of the friction. And uh, my push goes in the positive direction, so plus my push uh, x component is zero. So I would know that my friction, oh it doesn't even have an x component, so I could erase this. It's my all of all of my friction. My friction is equal to the push x component, which is equal to the push times cosine of, in this case, 
30 degrees which is 17.3 newton I'm going on for the same thing in the y direction. Y direction, I have my normal force which goes with my uh, y direction. I have my gravity that goes against it. So minus, and I can plug in my equation mg. And I have my push uh, y direction which is my minus and my push times sine of 30. So I have that my normal force equals mass times gravity plus the push times sine 30. So if I calculate this, I get, uh, assuming, well, let's take some mass, because mass was actually not given, so there was an error in the problem here, let's assume 5 kilograms. So I have a normal force of uh, 5 times 10 meters per second squared plus uh, the push times sine 30, 10 newtons. 60 newtons. Now it was not asked for, but I could actually calculate my minimal uh, coefficient of friction needed because I know that uh, my static friction has to be smaller than my mu s times fn. So my mu s has to be uh, bigger than my friction over my normal force. Uh, which is uh, 17.3 over 60. 